So, you couldn't save what mattered most to you and now you're an anime protagonist. Not a problem. Real quick, I learned how to do this from watching Matt Asplan's video and debugging help from Magma Okami on the Solve Squad. So, shoutouts to both of their awesome instruction. To save things in Unreal 5, right click, create a new blueprint, and at the bottom, find save. I'm gonna call mine BP Saver, and inside this blueprint, create the variables that you wanna save. For now, let's just say that we have a float value to record the health of our character. Compile, save, and now inside whatever blueprint contains all the variables that you wanna save, mine is in my main menu, you will need to create two functions to save and load the game. Let's start with save. Drag out a does save game exist. Drag the slot name back into the function, drag out a branch node, and connect the return values. Under true, load game from slot, and connect the slot name from the function like so. Right click from return value, promote to variable, and name it save ref. Under false, drag out a create save game object, set it to your save blueprint, and set the save reference like we did up here. Drag out a cast to save, combine them together, and drag out the variables you want to save. We just have health, so that's all we're going to connect. And then finally, we will set it to the real-time variable we have in our game, and drag all of that into a save game slot. Using the save ref as our object, and under slot, just drag out a get slot name. Compile, save, and now we just gotta make our load function. Drag out does save game exist, drag slot back into itself, drag out a branch node, and from the true, drag out a load game from slot. And from slot name, drag out a get slot name. From the return value, cast the name to our save blueprint, and here we will set the real time variable to the saved game variable. And this just means that every time load is activated, we are replacing the real time value with whatever we have in our saved value. Compile, save, and now to trigger the save, I'm just gonna have the player click at the save button and when they do it's gonna call our save function under here right click promote to variable name it and set the default value to something like slot 1 and just so that we know it worked, we'll print a message to let us know. Likewise, when the user presses the load button, we will instead call our load function and use the same slot name. And just to make sure that all of this works, we'll print a string out so that we can see if it's visually there. You're done. Now you can save the values of your game, and when you reopen, the values will still be there. You can always check if the save file exists by going into the project file, and under the saved files, you should see your slot over there. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.